Hello everybody, it is me Smilo here and I am here with some of my friends including Wooly, Tyler, Gray, Sabrina, and Velma. And you're probably wondering what we're doing next to a big box right here. Well this big box actually contains a huge collection of cards featuring some of the weirdest and some of the wildest creatures to have ever existed. Hence the name of a card collection, Weird and Wild Creatures, as you can see on the top of the box right here. So yeah, it says Weird and Wild Creatures up there. And if you look on the sides right here, you'll see a picture of a great white shark. And then on the other side, a picture of a triceratops. So yeah, it's a pretty big box with a lot of cards, so let's go ahead and open this up. Here we go. So you see this huge collection of cards right here, right? Yeah, it really is a lot. So yeah, right here we got four boxes of trading cards. And then the rest we got some large informational cards. And all these cards are divided up into eight groups. So yeah, we got Monsters of the Past, Nightmares of Nature, Toxic Terrors, Monsters of the Deep, Tiny Terrors, and then Strange Wonders, and Mon Monsters of the Mind, and then Monster Mania back here. So yeah, it's a lot of cards to show you over here. And since we're dealing with a lot of cards, we probably won't show you all of them, but we'll show you some of the coolest, including some of the trading cards. So yeah, we, we got quite a collection to show you guys. We're gonna go ahead and show you a few of our Monsters of the Past cards. So the first one we got here is the Mighty T-Rex. So yeah, we got Tyrannosaurus right here. And you may notice that some of these cards have numbers on them, and they're kind of put in like number order, but we kind of mixed it up a little to show you some of the cards that we think are really cool. So here we have T-Rex. If you want to read the information, feel free to go ahead and do that. So we got T-Rex right here. And then we also here got the back side right here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We got information right here. And then we got a timeline at the bottom right there. Some did you know facts. Yeah, a lot of the cards have some pretty cool features like this. So here's the front. And then here's the back. So here we got T-Rex. And the next one we got right here is Velociraptor, perhaps another more famous dinosaur. So yeah, probably not as big as Jurassic Park Velociraptor, but still very dangerous nonetheless. So here we got the front of the card of Velociraptor. And then we got the back side right here. So yeah, it's pretty cool, right? And yeah, some of these cards might be a little graphic and not very pleasing to the eye, but so yeah. Just a warning right there, some of these images may be a little graphic, so just a heads up. But we're showing you like some of the cards that are more pleasing to the eye. So now we got Triceratops, perhaps another one of the most famous dinosaurs. So yeah, we got a charging Triceratops right there. Pretty cool Triceratops. So here we got the front of the card, and then right here we got the back of the card. Yeah, you see we got more than one species of Ceratopian at the bottom right there. So yeah, here's the backside Triceratops. And then of course, we've got the infamous Sabertooth Tiger right here. Yeah, one of my favorites. <laughs> so yeah, this one's pretty cool, right? Look at the infamous Sabertooth Tiger, Smilodon Fatalis right here. And if we turn it around, yikes, I would hate to be bitten by that savage beast. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Got another timeline at the bottom right here. So yeah, this is the back side of the Sabertooth Tiger card right here. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, we got the Sabertooth right there. And then we got the Woolly Mammoth here. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Probably the most iconic animal of the Ice Age. Yeah, and Wooly's favorite too. So yeah, here we got a Wooly Mammoth card. This is the front of the card. And then turn around to the back. This is the back of the Wooly Mammoth card. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, we got Wooly Mammoth right here. And then we got Andrew Sarkis right here. It kind of looks like a wolf mixed with a hyena or, or a tiger or something. So yeah, the largest carnivorous predator to ever roam the earth. All that's ever been found is a skull of this creature, but still, a one meter long skull, this must have been a very big animal. So we got Andrew Sarkis. Here's the front of the card. And then right here is the back of the card. Another timeline at the bottom. 
Yeah, and Drusarchus is huge, very big predator, one of the largest land predators to ever roam the earth. And then we got the woolly rhinoceros right here. We got a woolly rhino like the woolly mammoth, except it's a rhino. Yeah, we got the front card of woolly rhino, and then the back side got a timeline at the bottom down there. Yeah, here's the woolly rhino card. And then we also got Spinosaurus, which is believed to be the largest predator to have ever existed on land. So yeah, we got the gigantic Spinosaurus right here. The front card, and then here's the back of the card. Yeah, we got the big Spinosaurus, pretty big predatory dinosaur. And then one of the last cards that we're going to show you from the Monsters of the Past is Stegosaurus. Yeah, you got Stegosaurus right here, another commonly known dinosaur, Stegosaurus. So here's the front of the card. And then we got the back right here, another timeline at the bottom. So yeah, we got Stegosaurus right here. So yeah, that's all the Monsters of the Past cards that we want to show you. Let's move on to the second collection of cards. Now we're going to move on to our Nightmares of Nature cards. So we're going to start off here with the Siberian Tiger. One of the biggest cats alive today. So yeah, we got the Siberian tiger right here, pouncing at us. So here's the front card, and then here's the back of the card. So yeah, pretty big cat, Siberian tiger, one of the biggest cats on the planet today. And then we got the second largest cat on the planet, the African lion right here. Yeah, king, said to be the king of the beasts. So yeah, we got the African lion right here. Flip the card around. Yeah, that sure looks like a very ferocious beast right there. So yeah, we got the African lion right here. And then we got the gray wolf here. So yeah, the world's top dog right here. Travel in packs. Very ferocious canine right here, the gray wolf. Turn her around right here. Yeah, this was a very dangerous pack hunter right here. Gray wolf. And then we got the Savage Spotted Hyena. Yeah, said to have one of the strongest bite forces of any other mammal. Yeah, we got the Spotted Hyena right here. Hyenas may laugh, but it's no joking matter. So yeah, we got Hyena right here, and then we got the back. So yeah, we got the Spotted Hyena right here, which is actually one of the only species of hyenas that laugh. And then we got perhaps what is one of the largest terrestrial predatory, predatory mammals on the planet, the polar bear. Yeah, this is the largest, one of the largest bears to have ever existed, polar bear. Turn it around right here. Yeah, polar bear is a very big, very powerful bear right here. And then we got the third largest species of cat in the world and the largest cat in the Americas, the jaguar. Yeah, along with tigers, jaguars are also one of the few cats that actually loves the water. So we got the jaguar right here. Go ahead and turn it around. Yeah, we got spotted jaguars and we can also have melanistic jaguars. So we, we can also have black jaguars as well. Yeah, very dangerous cat. And then we got a leopard right here, which is actually one of the more smaller species of cat, but is actually also one of the most aggressive species of cat. So yeah, we got the leopard right here. One of the smallest cats, but still very, very dangerous. Turn it around. So yeah, le leopards are one of the more aggressive species of cats, so wouldn't want to run into this big kitty. And then we got one of the fastest animals on the planet, the cheetah. Yeah, cheetahs could hit up to 70 miles per hour in a full sprint. So yeah. Very fast. You wouldn't want to be chased by this big cat. Not really a big cat, but still bigger than today's house cats, that's for sure. Very, very fast. Yeah. And although cheetahs are not terribly aggressive like other big cats, still very dangerous. Be cautious around this cat. And then last but not least from the Nightmares of Nature cards, we got the Saltwater Crocodile, which is believed to be the largest crocodile Alive today with one of the strongest bite forces ever. Yeah, we got a saltwater crocodile right here. Yeah, rip a buffalo down there. So yeah, we got a saltwater crocodile. 
Yeah, that's all the Nightmares of Nature cards that we can show you, but let's move on to the next deck. Now we got our Toxic Terror cards right here, so we're gonna start off with the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Perhaps one of the most feared snakes in the world, very venomous. And they get their name from that rattle that they have at the end of their tail. So we got the Rattlesnake right here. Yeah, wouldn't want to be bitten by this vicious reptile. Not gonna feel good. And then we got the Gila Monster, which is one of the few venomous lizards on the planet. Yeah, one bite and better start praying for dear life. Yeah, we got the Gila Monster right here. Yikes, wouldn't want to be bitten by that. And then of course the Black Mamba, another one of the world's most feared snakes. Yeah, very venomous reptile, the Black Mamba. Yeah, oh, yikes. Wouldn't want to be attacked by that vicious reptile. Very big, very dangerous. And then we got the King Cobra. Right here, it's got that impressive frill right there. Yeah, we got the King Cobra. Yeah, very massive snake, as you can see right there. Very massive, very venomous. And then we got the Poison Dart Frog. Right here. Yeah, kind of cute looking, but very dangerous nonetheless. Yeah, very dangerous frog right there. So yeah, these are some of the Toxic Terror cards, so now let's move on to the next collection. Now we got our Monsters of the Deep cards collection right here, and we're gonna start off with the Killer Whale, which surprisingly is actually not a whale, it's actually a dolphin. Yeah. Killer whales are very dangerous, one of the most dangerous predators of the ocean, even capable of taking down the the infamous great white shark. So yeah, we got the killer whale right here. Yeah, killer whales, very dangerous. Maybe a species of dolphins which are known to be friendly, but killer whales, that's a different story. We'll go after and hunt and kill almost anything, hence the name killer whale. And then of course, the infamous great white shark. Right here, probably one of the most feared predators of the ocean. Yeah, one of the largest predatory fishies out there. Yeah, we got the great white shark. Yeah, the movie star of one of the most beloved shark films of all time, Jaws. So yeah, great white shark, very infamous, very dangerous. And then another one of the more dangerous shark species is a tiger shark. Along with the great white and the bull shark, these are one of the three most feared man-eaters of the ocean. We got tiger shark, got the stripes of a tiger, the shark. So yeah, ooh, you, wanna, you wouldn't wanna be attacked by this massive predator. And then perhaps one of the more strange looking creatures of the ocean, the hammerhead shark. So yeah, it's got a hammer-shaped head, hence the name hammerhead shark. Yeah, very bizarre looking shark, but still very dangerous nonetheless. And then we got one of the largest sharks alive today, the whale shark. Very massive, gentle giant, a filter feeder. Don't have much to fear for this shark. Yeah, very big fish. And then we got the giant octopus. Very strong. Yeah, we got a big red octopus right here. See all those suction cups right there? So yeah, we got the octopus right here. So yeah, so here are some of the monsters of the deep cards, and now let's move on to the next deck. Now we got a few tiny terrors here, so we're just gonna show you a few of them. Here we got the horse fly. Yeah, flies are perhaps one of the most annoying creatures on the planet. So yeah, we got a horse fly right here. Yikes, very big, very ugly looking fly. And then of course, nobody likes mosquitoes, right? Yeah, little insect vampires. Yeah, nobody likes mosquitoes, just eesh. Yeah, mosquitoes, not really good for us, but good for the creatures that eat them. And then we got fire ants right here. Yeesh, wouldn't want to be bitten by a fire ant. Yeah, that's gonna burn. Yeah, not very pleasing to look at, I know, so. Yeah, we just wanted to show you a few of the tiny terrors, but let's move on to the next one. Now we're going to show you a couple of our strange wonder cards, starting off with the frilled lizard right here. Yeah, this is probably what inspired the Dilophosaurus of Jurassic Park. Yeah, that must be very intimidating, a lizard with a big frill like that coming at you. 
Yeah, yikes. Very intimidating, very freaky looking little lizard. And then we got the thorny devil right here. Yeah, Australia is home to some of the strangest looking creatures in the world. So yeah, here we got the thorny devil. Doesn't look like a very cuddly little old fella. Yeah, definitely not. Yeesh. And then we got the marine iguana right here. So yeah, you got a iguana isolated on the Galapagos Islands right here. So yeah, we got iguanas. So yeah, that's just a few of the Strange Wonders cards, but let's move on to another deck. Prepare yourself for the seller deck, because these images might be a little unsettling for some of you, but now we got Monsters of the Mind, so you got myths and legends right here. So yeah, we got the Were Tiger right here. So yeah, wolves aren't the only half-man, half-monsters out there. So we got werewolves, and we got were tigers and a variety of other half-man, half-monsters, half-animal monsters. So yeah, we got the were tiger right here. Probably one of the most feared beasts in India, in Asia. So yeah, were tiger. Not a very pleasing beast to look at. And then we got Cerberus here, three-headed dog, hound of the underworld. So yeah, we got a very vicious three-headed canine right there. Yeah, Guardian to the Gates of the Underworld right there. Yikes, very savage three-headed puppy right there. And then we got perhaps one of the most famous written legends is the Loch Ness Monster. Probably inspired by the plesiosaur, those long-necked aquatic dinosaurs. So yeah, and there's a supposedly real image of the Loch Ness Monster right there. Yeah, we got the Loch Ness Monster. And then we got the Jersey Devil right here. Yikes, it looks like a goat with wings. Very frightening to look at right here. Yeah, I got the Jersey Devil. Very frightening beast. And then we got the legendary goat sucker, the Chupacabra. Yeah, and there's actually more than one version of the Chupacabra. This one's a more alien looking Chupacabra. But the other version of the Chupacabra looks like a very mangy canine coyote or a dog so yeah a goat sucker right there so yeah this one's probably one of the most frightening collection of cards right here monsters of the mind here we have a few of the monster mania activity cards right here so we got a smackdown between the siberian tiger and the grizzly bear so yeah two of the world's most powerful predators and then we got a man and beast card right here a man surrounded by all these prehistoric beasts and then we got a time lighting tracker right here where we have to mark down the time that these creatures existed so yeah pretty fun pretty educational activity cards right here now we're going to show you some of the trading cards and these are the boxes that you can keep them in pretty cool looking boxes containing images of some frightening creatures so here are the trading cards yeah you can see that some of these cards are pretty fancy based on their rankings so yeah we got mighty t-rex right here and this is what it looks like on the back of all the trading cards so we got t-rex got Edmontonia right here, we got the Chasmosaurus, and then we got the African Lion right here, Saltwater Crocodile, Anaconda, Great White Shark, and then some of our favorites, the Sabertooth Tiger right here, Woolly Mammoth, Andrew Sarkis, the Woolly Rhino, Megalosaurus, and then Didacurus, the Tasmanian Wolf, Dilacosmilus, Indricotherium, Calicotherium, Basilosaurus, and Megalodon. So yeah, we got a lot of cool cards right here. Cool trading cards you can battle with. So yeah, you can see Attack and Defense, choose the highest number and the highest number wins. Yeah, it's a pretty cool, very fun trading card game. Very cool collection of very informative cards and trading cards. It's pretty cool, right? Information about some of the coolest, most bizarre creatures and monsters. It's pretty cool, right? And how many cards do we have in this box? We have no idea, to be honest, but it's a lot. And it's not a full collection, but we got all the cool creature cards. So yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Wish we could show you more, but that's it for now, folks. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, content, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys later.